In this video, we're going to be talking about how the Catholic Church developed the scientific method. Many people say that the Catholic Church was against science, that the Catholic Church opposed science, that it was because of the Catholic Church during the Dark Ages that intellectual learning and scientific achievement and mathematics all came to a halt because the Catholic Church did not want to progress learning, growth, or scientific advancement. But of course, this is the farthest thing from the truth. It was the Catholic countries in the Dark Ages that were the only ones pretty much advancing anything, whereas in the Greek cultures, literacy was almost at a complete blackout, possibly forever. Thankfully, it was the monks of the Catholic Church who kept literacy and learning and scientific advancement alive. And as we're going to see, it was in the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, that the Catholic Church developed the scientific method and many, many other scientific advancements as well. So we're going to see that right after this. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Catholic Truth. My name is Brian Mercier, President of Catholic Truth, and we are happy to help you to know, love, and live your Catholic faith and to understand it at a deeper level and even be able to explain it. And anyone from anywhere, from any religion, can come here to know exactly what the Catholic Church teaches and why and how Jesus Christ can transform your life. And we are going to be talking about the scientific method and how it was the Catholic Church that developed the scientific method. In fact, it was out of the Catholic universities in the Middle Ages that rationality really blew up and rational evidence, rational presentations, not just blind belief, not just accepting propositions because they had been believed for a long time or were presented by big people like Aristotle. Generally, many people, most people in the world never questioned these things. They just accepted them as fact. Even if they said, oh, the heavenly bodies are inhabited by celestial beings and that's why they move. They just accepted that. No Nobody really uh, fact-checked it, so to speak. But it was during these Middle Ages that the universities progressed math, progressed science, progressed reason, and showed that we can't just accept things by blind belief, but you actually have to prove them. You have to offer evidence. And it was many Catholic priests and scientists who developed the scientific method and this rationality, the promotion of empirical evidence in actually proving what you claim and not just accepting it by blind faith. Now, to be fair, Aristotle did collect empirical data, but he said things of the universe could be known just by our philosophical reasoning alone. And that's highly problematic because while many of the things that he said were true, but he was also wrong <laughs> about many things and that came out through uh, scientific testing. And this is talking about, you know, how vacuums came to be in outer space or rainbows or why rocks fell. And it wasn't just because they loved the center of the earth or they were attracted to the center of the earth and other great superstitions. These were all undone. Many people like atheists will say, oh, it was because of science that it was undone. And in part, that's true. Science Scientists did undo a lot of the superstitions of the ancient world, but what they won't tell you or they don't know is that it was the Catholic Church and her scientists that helped to undo these. And in fact, many Arabic and Muslim scholars and mathematicians and scientists as well. So it really did come from religion, primarily the Catholic Church. They talked about the difference between a priori evidence and a posteriori evidence. Just accepting things because that's how the universe wanted it or that's how it has to be versus actual empirical study of the natural world. And that's where we see, and you can look this up online, look up who invented the scientific method or origins of the scientific method and the majority majority of all sites and encyclopedias and history books will say that it was three or four different people who helped develop the scientific method, and they were all Catholic priests and scholars and theologians. The biggest person who is credited to developing the scientific method is Roger Bacon, who was around in the 1200s. He was a teacher at Oxford University and the University of Paris, and he was a brilliant uh, scientist and mathematician, and he studied uh, optics and astronomy and languages and many, many other things. He was known everywhere for pursuing facts and science based on empirical evidence. He was the one who explained the scientific method in great detail. But what many people don't know, and most people don't know this, is that he 
also worked with another brilliant theologian and scientist named uh, Robert Grosstest, and he was actually a Catholic bishop who even inspired Roger Bacon. And he was the first one, even before Bacon kind of took off with what he started, he was the first one to write down all of the complete steps for performing a scientific experiment, measurable, collectible evidence and empirical data and so on. He was the first one to do this, and he was a Catholic bishop, and he worked with and inspired Roger Bacon, who continued his work and continued to take off on this and to write down in great vivid details the, how to go about doing a scientific experiment. And this would even be developed and almost perfected later by Francis Bacon, not to be confused with Roger Bacon, but Francis Bacon in the 1500s. He also promoted and advanced the scientific method based on empirical reasoning and not just blind fact actual evidence where you have a hypothesis and then you collect data and you see if it's true and you see if it can prove what you're trying to prove or if it disproves it. Many things in the ancient world were disproved because of the scientific evidence that came out of the Catholic universities and the rationality that they put behind their faith. It's not just like the Mormon church where they say, yeah, we believe, but it doesn't matter if the facts are true or not. You know, your faith is the most important thing. And many people in the ancient world believe that. But these uh, Catholic scientists said, no, it has to be rational. It has to have evidence. It must be proven or else it's not true. I mean, we can just assume this or that. We can just assume that rainbows are this or vacuums are just invented out of nothing or rocks fall because they love the center of the earth. But here, we need to prove that using actual evidence and steps and hypothesis for and against, and so on. And they developed the scientific method that came to be known in the 17th century later on. Our modern day scientific method would never, ever, ever have happened if it was not developed already by the Catholic Church. And you can see this all over. I mean, the New World Encyclopedia talks about this, encyclopedia.com, uh, Britannica Encyclopedia, famousinventors.org, Stanford Encyclopedia of uh, Philosophy, famousscientists.org, reference.com, and countless, countless other encyclopedias and history books and reference sites. I mean, they all say uh, Roger Bacon developed the scientific method. Of course, Robert Gostell, who inspired him, had already written out the steps of a scientific experiment. Uh, others would uh, say that Galileo helped in the process. Uh, some say that Copernicus helped in the process. Some say that uh, Francis Bacon helped in the process. But, you know, it wasn't just one person per se, but it was a development and a growth and a perfection over the years years down through the Catholic Church. And some people uh, rightly say that even before Roger Bacon, uh, in ancient societies like the Greeks, people with Aristotle who collected uh, data, empirical data, or even some Muslim scholars who preceded the scientific method, but they, they didn't really have the scientific method we know today. It was like more of a precursor to it. In fact, uh, a great book is how, how the Catholic Church Built Western Civilization. And it makes a good note uh, and a correct note that Islam did not believe in the rationality of the universe. It did not believe that you could know uh, the universe. It didn't believe that the laws were consistent with math and physics and all these other things. They've just believed that Allah did what he wants. And you can't figure out the universe, which is why Islam put an end to all scientific and mathematic type studies back in the 13th century. So the scholars of Islam who did find out some of these things did it in spite of Islam. They did it on their own without the religion of Islam. Whereas, you know, the Catholic faith, because of our Catholic faith and seeing God behind everything and finding out that the universe is intelligible and it's mathematical and you can figure it out, that is what promoted and drove the sciences and the mathematics of the Catholic Church. And it's so beautiful just how much the Catholic Church has done for both math and science, which is why there's 35 craters on the moon named after Catholic priests because of their extraordinary accomplishments. And if you want to see so much more on what the Catholic Church has done for science and a lot of our scientific discoveries, please check out our video on that subject, uh, the Catholic Church and science. And if you're one of the people who are persuaded that the Catholic Church hates science and look Look what they did to Galileo and other people like Copernicus. Well, we also have a video on Galileo and Copernicus and heliocentricity and showing that the Catholic Church has never been against real science. And even in the Galileo controversy, it was not against science. And so we give the facts of this case here. And that's actually a very interesting video that you can check out here.
But thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that it helped uh, you to see that the Catholic Church was instrumental not only in developing science and the rationality behind thought and belief and proving things and not just blindly accepting them, but also writing down the steps of the scientific method and following these steps and creating empirical data and proving actual hypotheses, not just saying, oh, this is true because of this, or saying this is true because of that. But it goes into much more depth in this book, uh, How the Catholic Church Built Western Civilization, and it shows how many scientists contributed to the scientific method and reason. Like St. Albert the Great was a brilliant uh, mathematician and scientist, or Father Stanley Jockey, and so many other forerunners of modern science. It's amazing. So check it out, or check out our other videos. And if you like this video, please share it, and please get it out there to the world. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below, and check out our social media below, and follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, or whatever else you are interested in. And uh, lastly, but not leastly, please consider supporting our ministry so we can keep reaching the world. We keep bringing people onto our team and hiring more people and growing real fast, and we need people like you, and it's only because of people like you that we exist. So please consider, if you love our work, then support this work and help it to grow. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you you.